Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Greenberg. I'm happy to talk to you today about breast augmentation. We have a lot I want to discuss with you. So it's such a common uh, procedure in the United States. Over 250,000 breast augmentations done just this past year. And that's one of the most common cosmetic surgery procedures. In my practice here in the New York area, I am interested in getting the most natural results I can possibly get. And technology has certainly helped us with that so much. With my Greenberg Rapid Recovery Breast Augmentation System, I typically can get a patient back to normal activities within only 24 hours and only minimal discomfort. So it's not like it used to be. Recovery is much easier, much simpler, and, and my results tend to come out very, very natural. In this day and age, we are two different types of implants that we can use. The saline implant, which is only about 5% of my practice now, is really not as good in terms of results. We certainly can use it in younger age people, between 18 and 22, but we like to use the newer silicone gel or the memory gel implants. The memory gel implants come in a variety of, um, a variety of sizes and projections so that we can really match these to your body. As shown here, there are different projections and diameters and sizes. So I think it's important to get that perfect match to your body. I stock most of the implants made here in my office ambulatory center so we can actually see what they look like at the time of surgery. You can see there are textured implants, there are flatter implants, there are implants with even more projection. So it's very important in order to get that natural look to match the implants to your individual body. So I think that the memory gel implants are so much better than the older fashioned silicone gel implants. These don't rupture at all. You can actually almost do anything with them. Uh, and the shell is very, very strong. So these are very hard to break and they don't leak anywhere like the old fashioned silicone gel implants because they're a memory gel called gummy bear material really makes them kind of stick to themselves without much difficulty. So again, matching these implants to your body is very important to get that natural re result. Now in my offices, what we do is we do computer analysis on a patient. And when we do computer analysis on a patient, we can show you what you're going to look like with different size implants in. So again, matching these implants to your body is very important. We can actually put these in different directions. We can turn them on the sides. So we can show you what you'll look like in different bathing suits, clothing, or with nothing on to match these implants to your body. Now, um, when we're doing the implants at the time of surgery, I like to put the implant underneath the muscle of the chest wall. This is the pectoralis muscle with the implant underneath them. If we put the implant above the muscle, they don't look as real and they don't look as natural in my opinion. So I like to put the implant underneath the muscle and that really gives a very, very natural result. There are other options that we can do at the same time as doing a breast implant. There's something called a breast lift and a breast lift will enable us to get um, a very natural result and also lift the breast at the same time. And I'll show you what that screen is uh, right now. So that's called a mastopexia or a breast lift. And sometimes when we do a breast lift, we have to make an incision that just goes around the areola or the top of the nipple. Sometimes we go what's called a lollipop. And sometimes it's a full anchor, depending upon what the patient looks like and how droopy they are. Although you can never promise to how a scar heals when you're doing any types of cosmetic surgery, these tend to do nicely over some time. But again, everyone's healing is so variable and unpredictable. In general, a breast augmentation procedure is a quick in-office procedure. Patients go home right away after, and a routine breast augmentation takes between 20 and 30 or 40 minutes or so to do. Very simple, and you're back to work and back to normal activities, either in about 24 to 48 hours at the most. A breast lift adds about an extra hour or so to the procedure, a little variable depending upon what we have to do. But again, quick recovery, rapid recovery system in my practice, and a natural result is the most important thing. 
I have you wear a special sports bra and a special band that we supply to you at the time of surgery, and I have you wear that for a short period of time after surgery. And again, you're up and about doing normal activities very quickly. I'm happy to come on. I'm happy to see you for a complimentary consultation in my office. I'd love to meet you so we can go through your particulars. Every person is different, and matching these implants to your body is so important to get us that cosmetic surgery result that we all want to see.